morning and welcome to the Wax Wake Up's weekly wrap up. I'm Christy Matino. These were the top stories on WashingtonExaminer.com this week. On Thursday, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed a six week abortion ban into law. The governor signed the Heartbeat Protection Act Thursday night, banning most abortions in the state of Florida after six weeks of pregnancy. In a tweet announcing his signature, DeSantis said the bill expands pro-life protections and devotes resources to helping young mothers and families. But the White House took no time responding to the law. In a statement, Press Secretary Crean Jean-Pierre said the ban flies in the face of fundamental freedoms and is out of step with the views of the vast majority of people in Florida and all of the United States. The six-week ban now replaces the 15-week ban that DeSantis originally signed into law last year. And a big development in the Pentagon documents leaks case, the FBI has arrested Air National Guardsman Jack Teixeira. Officials suspect he's involved in the leak of hundreds of classified documents from the Pentagon. Teixeira is now in custody and had his initial appearance at the U.S. District Court in Massachusetts. The Pentagon declined to comment on the leaker's identity at a press briefing Thursday. Given that this is an ongoing investigation, I'm not going to be able to talk about the investigation or any potential DOJ actions, so I'd refer you to them. Now, according to a report, the person who leaked the documents brought them home from a military base and shared them with about 25 people through online chat server Discord. The Justice Department opened a criminal investigation in the incident last week, while the Pentagon continues to assess the damage that will come from these documents being released to the public. We do have stringent guidelines in place for safeguarding classified and sensitive information. We will continue to do everything we can to ensure that, that people who have a need to know uh, when it comes to this kind of information, have access to that. Senator Tim Scott announced Wednesday he's launching a 2024 exploratory committee in his first step towards running for president. Scott is testing whether to join a Republican presidential field dominated by former President Trump. In a newly released video, Scott made campaign promises such as protecting religious liberty, standing up to China, and a choice in education. I know America is a land of opportunity, not a land of oppression. I know it because I've lived it. That's why it pains my soul to see the Biden liberals attacking every rung of the ladder that helped me climb. Scott is scheduled to visit Iowa and New Hampshire. Those are the first two states on the Republican primary calendar before heading to a summit in South Carolina. And 12-time NCAA All-American swimmer Riley Gaines wants accountability. After being physically attacked after giving a speech on trans women in female sports at San Francisco State University. Now she's taking steps to prosecute her attackers and is also calling out the Biden administration. Washington Examiner reporter Amy Delora has the exclusive interview. Just hours before your speech turned assault, the White House press secretary said this LGBTQI plus kids are resilient. They are fierce. They fight back. They're not going anywhere. What do you make of that statement? Do you feel the Biden administration has given permission for people to act the way they did that night? Absolutely, I do. When I was giving my speech, I could hear protesters in the hallway on both ends of the hallway. One side would yell trans rights are under attack and the other side would yell back. What do we do? We fight back. And notice how the verbiage is the exact same. They fight back. That's what they were yelling in this hallway. And you can't help but see the resemblance, the almost the irony behind it. Um, the press secretary says this the day before, and now they're saying it the same day, the same words that I'm ambushed at San Francisco State. And you can watch our full interview with Riley Gaines on the Washington Examiner YouTube page or on our website. And that's the news on the Wex Wake Up's weekly wrap up. Be sure to follow us on social media for the stories making headlines Monday through Friday at 8 a.m.